While exploring the world's most expensive items, we uncovered some of the priciest fruits that can be found across Japan. From Ruby Roman grapes to Miyazaki mangoes, join us as we revisit what makes these fruits so expensive. First, we're heading to Ishikawa Prefecture to see why a single bunch of juicy red grapes might sell for $450. The first thing you notice about Japanese Ruby Roman grapes is their size. Just one is about four times the size of an average grape. But inspectors look even closer. If the color of these grapes matches categories three or four on this color card, then just one bunch could sell for $90 to $450. But size and color are just two of the characteristics that define these luxury grapes. So what else do inspectors look for? And why are these grapes so expensive? これだけの粒で鮮やかな色の品種っていうのはもう世界探してもないのでそのもう圧倒的な特徴これはもうルビロマンだけしかないということで in Japanese culture, fruits are considered a luxury and gift item. In fact, Japanese supermarkets often won't sell fruits if they have any blemishes or aren't the right shape. Inspectors like Kazuyoshi Sakurai use very specific criteria to scrutinize each grain or individual grape that grows in Kahoku City. え、まず 1 Superior grade grapes make up almost 90% of the harvest and special superior grapes make up about 10%. Superior bunches can cost between $90 and $140. Special superior grapes are priced at $180 to as high as $450. But there's still one category higher than these two. そして最上級の、え、規格がプレミアムということになりまして、プレミアムに関しましては、え、通常の、え、粒の大きさが1粒約20グラムというものなんですけども、プレミアムに関してはすべての粒で30グラム以上という決まりがありまして、only one or two bunches a year qualify as premium in Kahoku. Farmers hope to sell one bunch of premium grapes for over $1,000. Two bunches made the cut this year. But in 2019 and 2020, no grapes qualified for the premium category. No matter the grade, though, all Ruby Roman grapes have a uniquely sweet flavor, according to Isu. で、あとすごく特徴的なのが、え、果汁がものすごく多くて、すごくジューシーです。なので、皮を剥いて食べるときに、えっと、もう皮を剥くと汁が、あの、滴り落ちてきて、口に入れたときにもう果汁が飛び
さにある程度光が当たらないと、えー、色が進まないので明るさの管理というものも、えー、すごく、えー、他の品種以上に意識します。One way to control light is by adding or removing leaves near the vines. To confirm that enough light is getting into the greenhouse, farmers use a different tool. The brightness of the light is getting into the greenhouse. The brightness of the light is getting into the greenhouse. The brightness of the light is Using a program they developed with a private IT company, Farmers can then identify how much light they need to add or subtract. The final, complicated element for Ruby Roman grape farmers is temperature. The motion of the motion is very much in the house. The house is very much in the house. The house is very much in the house. They open the sides and ceilings of the greenhouse to keep it as cool and ventilated as possible. And still, not all the Ruby Roman grapes farmers grow will be up to standard, which is why supply is consistently limited. In 2020, only 25,000 Ruby Roman bunches were up for sale. That's a tiny fraction of the total number of grapes that were for sale in Japan. Which was about 163,000 metric tons in 2020. It wasn't until 2008 that the first Ruby Roman grapes went up for sale. The effort to create them started in 1995, when local grape farmers and Ishikawa's Agricultural Research Center came together to develop a new breed of large red grape. My father is now in the past. え、品種はいろいろありまして、ま、そこに赤色の品種、え、ま、青色の品種、いろいろ、え、混在していたわけですけども、そこの品種のからですね、花粉がま、飛んで、え、ま、偶然その、え、交配してですね、あの実ができた
、えー、夏でも冬でも味が同じようになるように美味しい味になるようにこういうやり方をしている。The farmers give the melons constant attention and care. Each melon takes 100 days to grow, and the fruit is grown all year round. There are 20 slightly different varieties of crown melon seeds grown depending on the season. The raised beds allow the farmers to control the amount of water each plant gets exactly, and air conditioning and heating keep the temperatures constant year round. Crown melons have four grades Fuji, Yama, Shiro, and Yuki. Any melons with even minor defects are marked as yuki. Then the top three grades are marked on their sugar content and perfect appearance. 55% of the melons make shiro grade, the third grade, 25% are yama, and only 0.1% or one in a thousand of all melons harvested are graded as fuji, the highest grade possible. After around 50 days, the plants begin to flower and baby fruits start to appear, but the hard work has only just begun. えー、あの木作りの時に他取っちゃって2本か3本後輩を残すとでもう1週間ぐらいするとこの3本のうちのこのホメロンが一番形がいい、えー、あの傷がないそういうものを見つけて1つですで1本の木に 1, 1玉一番いいものしか残さずにして収穫するこれが最大の特徴だと思う。This work is all done entirely by hand, and it isn't just about getting the taste right, but perfecting the appearance too. As the fruits get larger on each plant, they are carefully wrapped in white paper to protect them. The melon で、このネットの綺麗さによって、え、日本人は、え、値段もつける。急激な、え、天候の変化でも、大きく割れたり出なかったりっていうのを、え、手で水をかけてコントロールするのが Once this net pattern has developed, each melon is even massaged and polished by hand. It is then covered to protect it from the sun for its final growing period. The farmers can wear through multiple pairs of white gloves polishing these melons. Yeah, we have the reason why the melon is such expensive. So, uh, each farmer has to take care very carefully. Uh, you know that even the one mistake of amount of water uh, on one day that makes the melon deteriorate. They have to take care every day, every time, and they take your weather, temperature, and uh, they kind of talking with uh, each melon trees, uh, how, how they are, how they look each day, and they grow the melon like their sons or daughters. But the work of the agricultural cooperatives also keeps their prices high. The Shizuoka Crown Melon Company oversee the distribution and checks on melons from over 200 farmers. They ensure that the quality remains high and that the prices aren't undercut. The resulting taste is undeniably incredible. Each fruit has a complex balance of flavors and is perfectly juicy and sweet. But you'll have to decide for yourself whether the high price is worth it for the taste. Despite the cost, there's a big market for these fruits across Japan. Consumers are willing to pay to ensure that their gift is perfect especially knowing the work that has gone into producing them. The melons are often sold in individual presentation boxes, sitting on silk or hay or tied with a ribbon. And when choosing the perfect gift, the high price is often seen as a signifier of quality. So what about those $45,000 melons? At the start of the season, the perfect first fruits are auctioned off and are often sought after as a trophy for local businesses to bid on. 
A new record is set for the sale of these fruits almost every year, and it doesn't look like their price is going down anytime soon. This pair of mangoes just sold for 500,000 yen. That's almost $4,000. These are not just any mangoes. They are Tayo no Tamago, or Egg of the Sun. Stunning, plump, red, perfectly unscratched, and incredibly sweet mangoes that are farmed in the Miyazaki Prefecture of Japan. Every April, the best mangoes from the prefecture are auctioned off at Miyazaki Central Wholesale Market. But although farmers in Miyazaki dedicate an entire year to preparing these mangoes for auction, there's no guarantee that the fruit will fetch such a high price. That's because, before reaching the auctioning table, a mango has to be perfect, inside and out. So why are Tayo no Tamago mangoes so difficult to grow? And what makes them so expensive? Mangoes farmed in Miyazaki are from the Irwin mango variety, a type often referred to as apple mango, as it turns red when ripe. Irwin mangoes are actually pretty common, and are also grown in other parts of the world and sold at much lower prices. This is because the exclusivity of Tayo no Tamago is not tied to which type of mango it is, but rather to the care it receives. In order to generate buzz at the auction, a mango needs bees. To increase their odds of success, farmers like Takuya usually rent bees during the flowering season. These are flowering mango plants. Bees play a crucial role in the pollination of the plants, as without them, mangoes would not grow as big as desired. これをまだ鳴らした方がいいからっていうので鳴らしてるんですよ。普段も落とすんですよ、これ。だからあの、マンゴーの子としてはこれ作る用じゃダメなんですね。と、蜜蜂が交配しない場合はあの、こういう小さ
表面にあの傷が入ってますし赤みも下の方まで入ってないんでこれは太陽の卵にはならないと思います。Takuya has been growing mangoes for 16 years, a craft he learned from his father. This year, he grew 9,500 mangoes in his greenhouse. They're now ready to be inspected to see how many of them have earned the coveted Tayo no Tamago title. The first inspection is done by human eye. Inspectors closely analyze each mango's appearance to ensure they are red all throughout with no hints of green at the bottom. Then, a machine sorts them according to sugar content, weight, and size. So, the temperature is 15 degrees, and the temperature is 350 degrees. The temperature is 2 degrees. The temperature is 2 degrees. These inspections sort the mangoes into five grades. Two of which are Tayo no Tamago. Kini mo yori mas kedo, ma nenkan de ma daitai yoku te 13 percent ga 15 percent te no hase ritsu te koto desu no de ma daitai yaku 1 zenta ni 1 wari ga season toshite Tayo no Tamago ni nari mas no de ma kekko wariai toshite wa sukunai hou na no kana to mo imas. The mangoes will now make their way to Miyazaki Central Wholesale Market for the auction. All the care and hard work that Takuya and other farmers in the prefecture put into their fruit are leading up to this very moment. The hope is to match or exceed the previous figure of 500,000 yen. The site of the site is in the time of the site, there are 5 or 6 people in the time of the site. The time of the site is in the time of the site, and the time of the site is in the time of the site. The time of the site is in the time of the site, The auction has officially begun at the Miyazaki Central Wholesale Market. This year's 500,000 yen is 300,000 yen higher than last year and matches the 2019 record. And the farmer who grew these mangoes is Takuya. It's the third year in a row his mangoes fetched the highest price at the auction. They have been bought by a department store in Fukuoka. そうですもうえっと十一時ぐらいの飛行機に私がもう手で直接持ってそのままえっと福岡市にある百貨店の中のあとうちの売り場があるんですけどもそこにも並べます。とあと福岡からえっとこの太陽の卵っていう果物を全国に知っていただきたいという思いからつけました。Today's outcome was a successful one for Takuya, but even in a country with a strong gift-giving culture like Japan. It's not always guaranteed that such a luxury fruit will find a buyer at auction. After flowering, fruiting, harvesting, and auctioning, Takuya's mango plants are ready for a new season. And the hard work isn't over yet. えっと、花が咲いて、実がなって収穫終わったら、この枝をまた戻します。一節戻してが剪定作業になります。やっぱハウスの中すごく暑いんで、その作業は結構大変ですね。納得いかなかったら納得いくまでこうやるみたいなところがあるんでスポーツやってたんであの負けず嫌いなところがあってやっぱ人よりいいものを作りたいっていうのはあるんですねそれがいいのかもしれないですね。<笑>